it's science without boundaries. There are no geographical boundaries. We are an international institute trying to recruit the top minds in the world. There are no hierarchical boundaries. Uh, young people as well as senior experienced people sit together contributing ideas. And there are no scientific boundaries. We don't have disciplines, we don't have divisions, we don't have departments. I get to do science, I get at the same time meet great people from different places in this world. What else can I ask for? I'm improving myself as a scientist and as a person as well. And I can't think of a, of a better place in the world in terms of the, the quality and the uh, opportunities for the students to meet so many uh, interests and work with so many interesting people. This is such a wonderful collaboration between Japan, the people of Okinawa who welcome us here and support us and join us in our adventure. In terms of research collaboration, we already see many activities going on between the Okinawan industry and also the oyster researchers. So many collaboration is already going on with the local industry. Oyster will become a kind of catalyzer to stimulate the uh, a new economy in Okinawa. Everybody seems to be interested in what other people are doing, so it's not like, oh, I'm concentrated on this, so I'm not interested in other people, but it's just like everyone is, has a broad perspective, so we can kind of um, exchange ideas, that kind of thing. In the Standard University, you wouldn't have necessarily many opportunities to interact. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I think the benefits of, of of physicists and biologists interacting, for example, are very clear. Um, so why it doesn't happen more often? It's no, a good question. And people will have a chance to learn whatever they, they are interested. They need to learn, and that is exactly in my philosophy. So I really like it. We want people to mingle and attack problems from different points of view using different techniques and finding the best technique in whatever discipline to solve a particular problem. There are no boundaries between different kinds of students or professors or faculties or postdoctors. I found working here that I'm pretty included amongst all sections of the OIS society. We are all kind of family. <laughs> so we all know each other, we always have time together, we, we go hang out, we have also some other activities outside of OIS, like some sports, uh, sometimes some of the professors join. So we feel like we all know each other and we are interacting with each other a lot. You're a outgoing person and a friendly. Um, even if my English is not good, <laughs> they help me and support me. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. An amazing place to be, not only as a researcher, just as a person. To be living here on this beautiful island is, is fantastic. We have a very competitive package of financial support for the students. We give them a salary as a research assistant. We provide very, uh, very comfortable accommodation uh, at a subsidised rate for the students. So they have uh, very nice apartments with a view of the ocean. We help them a little bit with the transport by providing cars that they can borrow to get around the island. For me, it's not about status, it's about people. The students make a fantastic difference. They're youthful, they're energetic, they bring new and different questions. And since they've arrived, I try to find time every day to go over to, to Lab 2 and just stand in the foyer and wait and they come by and I talk to them. People, when they talk together and you have very good faculty, you get expert new knowledge, not just guesswork. It's there, it's a real thing that you can do, which is advanced, fun and, and uh, quite educational. It's very useful as a researcher to be working in OIST because we have three ultra-fast labs full of the latest high-tech equipment. OIST has very nice seeking facilities just for kind of our, our faculties and students. We are building things at a super fast rate. I've, at this point, put together two labs at OIST within a year when usually it takes a year or two years just to develop the first lab in most places abroad. 
is brilliant. We have three times more than you would have just in a standard laboratory. We uh, do our very best to make sure that major pieces of equipment are not behind locked doors. Which contains a microscope. Even if a student, we can use easily to this kind of expensive equipment. This environment offers independence to students. That's the key. We, we have basically everything we could ever want. <laughs> it's a new university, so a lot of old established traditions you find in other universities don't exist here yet. And that, I think, makes it all much more vivid and interesting, certainly more intense. Clearly, the people coming to OIST, faculty as well as researchers and now the students, are pioneers and we've only started scraping the surface of what kind of interdisciplinary work that we can do. It's a challenge for a student to come here but the good ones like challenges. It's like when you make a good meal you want to have good ingredients and I think we have very good ingredients to make a, a, a very good environment for new science. I say this is a futuristic institution with a bright future ahead of us. I'm not aware of any other university that's been set up like this and organised in such a way. Fascinating. Fantastic. <laughs> I would say it's fabulous research. Subarashi. Amazing, yeah. Well, that would be one of the core to make a change. Well, I, one way it's not enough. It's exhilarating and exciting. Awesome. <laughs> Innovative. For me, it's an adventure. Revolutionary. Science Sans Frontiers. Uh, no boundaries, just ideas. I, uh, I, I, I love it here.